everyone, welcome to this new special video about modding Skyrim in a new revolutionary way with Mod Organizer. Well, maybe some of you know that Mod Organizer is not that new, it's been out there for a while, but people who have followed my tutorials for quite a long time know that I've always been using Nexus Mod Manager. So I can hear you thinking, why the switch now from Nexus Mod Manager to Mod Organizer? I'll have to be honest, I never really looked into Mod Organizer that much, but I did the last couple of months and I really love Mod Organizer and I think it's so much better than Nexus Mod Manager in so many ways and I would love to tell you guys how to install Mod Organizer, how to set it up and tell you the benefits from Mod Organizer over Nexus Mod Manager. So Mod Organizer, why is it so much better than Nexus Mod Manager? There are multiple reasons for this. And I would like you guys to know that this video is a base video of everything we're going to do with Skyrim from now on. Because now you never have to reinstall Skyrim anymore. Mod Organizer handles mods in such a way that it does not override anything from the main game folder, but it has its own folder with categorized mods and from there it will handle everything. So even if you would install hundreds of mods with Mod Organizer and then you would install, uh, sorry, then you would start up the vanilla game without Mod Organizer, you can just play the vanilla game. So it handles mods differently and even if you really mess everything up there's no problem because you can just start over with the click of a button without have to reinstall uh, Skyrim again. Alright so mod organizer what's so much better about it and first um, I would like to explain that I'm not going to handle everything really detailed but just summarize things up if you want a complete explained uh, videos about Mod Organizer, exactly what it does, exactly what the benefits are. I suggest you watch Go First Mod Organizer videos because he explains everything really well. And um, I would like to tell you the summer. So I would like to summarize what Morgana, Mod Organizer does better than Nexus Mod Manager. And first of all, we have profiles. If you check out here, you can see I only have the default profile because I just freshly installed mod organizer but you can create profiles here and with profiles you are allowed to have specific different uh, mod lists installed on each profile and you can just switch to them in a second also if you ever install a mod you can just easily activate them on each profile with a single mouse click and um, it's really nice way to, in example, have a profile for all the mods from the Real Vision EMB page, and in example, have a profile where you just, you know, mess with mods. It doesn't really matter how unstable it gets because you can just delete that profile or switch to your stable profile again. Or maybe you have a special character like a mage, and you want to test out all kinds of mage mods, special spell mods, maybe that you can just create a profile for that and instantly switch to it, that's no problem. And even if you have like 10 profiles with hundreds of mods, Mod Organizer handles all the mods itself. Instead of overwriting, uh, overwriting files from the Skyrim main game folder and the main data folder, it uses its own data folders. And this has the advantage that you can just mess with mods as long as you want, how doesn't really matter what you do because the original game will never ever be edited and can never be messed with. So it doesn't really matter if you mess anything up completely, you can just delete that profile with the mods and your Skyrim will always be vanilla Skyrim. And I would like to say that profiles go even that far that you have your own ini files. So you have your own Skyrim.ini and Skyrim prefs.ini at each profile so that's how advanced it is and what do we have more we also uh, are able to tell with every mod that you install what file it overrides so an example if we check here down guards and we check with the complex you can see what it is overwriting and also if you have any problems ever um, with with, com with complex you can see what exactly is overwriting what and also you are able to check from your save games to see exactly what kind of mods are installed. So once you have uh, reinstalled your Skyrim, everybody knows that 
that oh what mod do I need to install again because I had installed a huge amount of mods but that's also not a problem anymore because you can easily see on each shape game what mod you have installed all right and what more do we have it also detects once you load a mod up and I um, I can do that now unfortunately but if you load a mod you want to you want to install you can check its file structure and that means um, that means that sometimes mods are not packed correctly and the author uh, accidentally put up an extra folder an example in uh, instead of the data folder and for that mods do not get installed correctly and that uh, happened with I thought the uh, unofficial Skyrim patch was once packed incorrectly but Morgan mod organizer can check for that and because it's it will check the uh, structure of how the mod has been built it also gives you very specific uh, options to just manually add and merge files a lot better than Nexus mod manager does but again, there are so many things on which Mod Organizer is better and maybe it sounds a little bit fake what I just explained. And if you really want to check out what uh, what I meant with it and what advantages you have, I again suggest you check out Gopher's videos because he has some great explanation about Mod Organizer. All right, then there is one thing left to do and that is how to show you guys how to install Mod Organizer. Before we start installing Mod Organizer for Skyrim, it has never been so important to have a clean version of Skyrim because this is probably the last time you need to do this. All right, well, how to get a clean Skyrim? If you currently have managed your mods with Nexus Mod Manager or any other mod manager, make sure you delete those mods by now, just for now, because we're going to continue with Mod Organizer, but delete all mods from your current mod manager for Skyrim and um, once you did make sure they are deleted then you also need to delete Skyrim or if you have a slow internet connection you can follow this guy to make Skyrim vanilla again so you don't necessarily need to reinstall the game but that's all I would only recommend this if you really don't want to reinstall your game else the steps are pretty easy you can go to your steam library and there you will find skyrim installed right click on it delete local content and again only do this after you have uninstalled all skyrim mods then you want to go to your my documents folder then to your my games uh, folder then you will find skyrim delete this folder here as well it contains some any files and uh, we have to make sure those are deleted before you reinstall your skyrim and then of course, we also have the Skyrim game folder, which is located in your Steam library. And um, locate your Steam installation uh, folder first. But my, it's here in E Games Steam, and this should be your Steam folder, your Steam um, folder structure. Steam, Steam apps common, and delete the Skyrim folder here as well. That's important to have a clean Skyrim. Before we reinstall, I would seriously recommend you to not install your Skyrim in your C program files 80 uh, program files uh, 86 because um, it has some administration problems. You have to constantly run Mod Organizer as an administrator, and I would really recommend you install Skyrim on another. Uh, if it's possible, on another drive or at least another folder, just regular on your C drive. I have it installed here in my E, my um, extra SSD on games, Steam. Here is my complete Steam library on my external SSD. But I would recommend you not installing and see program files 86 because of the administration problem. All right, if you did not follow the guides, then you can just reinstall your Skyrim, start it at least once to generate some ini files, and then we can install Mod Organizer. So, Mod Organizer, you can find it by just going to Google, search for Mod Organizer, and on the top you will have this, Mod Organizer for Skyrim. And on the Mod Organizer page, you can go to Files or Download Manual and download the installer. Once you did download it, you will get the installer here, which is this little setup file. Double click on it, press Run, press Next, press I Agree, Select all this. You don't need any shortcuts. Um, you can choose this to handle Nexus mods directly. 
Click on next and now install mod organizer in your Skyrim folder. So in my case is that game Steam Steam apps uh, common Skyrim. Yes, here it is. All right, then click on install. And as I said before, um, mod organizer will only manage Skyrim now. So to create a shortcut to it, let's see, let's um, first run mod organizer. And let me show you guys how to set it up. Press OK. Uh, I don't need a tutorial, but you could do it because you're new to Mod Organizer, probably. All right, and then you will see this this window from Mod Organizer. Well, the things that you can do is um, if you, you you probably have the Legendary Edition, then you also have the High Res Texture Pack. Well, it doesn't really matter, by the way, if you have the Legendary. Uh, you can uncheck these plugins because they are just dummy plugins and what you want to do is click on archives and you want to make sure that this is enabled have mod organizer manage your archives and um, in that case mod organizer works fine and what you also what I recommend you to do is click here on configure and in general click on download meta information so you have more information from the mod and it's better to see what mods you have for mod organizer all right so let's close it for now and i will show you guys how to create a shortcut to your mod organizer folder for skyrim and that is by going to your um skyrim directory where you have installed mod organizer for me that's here um, and here is mod organizer the folder and here you will see the uh let's see mod organizer.exe you can create a shortcut to this and paste it on your desktop like this and rename it to something like Skyrim Mod Organizer because if you have multiple games and you install multiple versions of Mod Organizer for those games you can just create a shortcut to that uh, specific Mod Organizer installation that exe and name it this way Skyrim Mod Organizer if you maybe have Fallout New Vegas Fallout New Vegas Mod Organizer etc etc All right, that was everything so far for this special mod organizer tutorial. Please use this tutorial as a start for all of your Skyrim modding. You also want to make yourself familiar with mod organizer and I again suggest you watch Gopher's video series about mod organizer for that. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I hope to see you guys at my next coming Skyrim 2016 tutorial. Thanks for watching.